why don't we show both? Here's the beginning in a mini animation. And here's the ending in a magic animation. So those are both pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions Part 28 Nuance Part 2. In today's episode, we further tuned our composition, which is this thing here, the Void Story, which has, one count them, seven parts. Um, and we made a new score video out of it. And we also updated the line diagram that goes with this composition and the energy chart that goes with it. So this is our updated energy chart. And then we updated our animation that goes with this, that you just saw, uh, the MIDI animation and the, the magic performance animation. So from the point of view of updating the composition, the main thing we did is right in here around what we're calling chapter 3D, 3 Delta, we, um, we put a little break in there because this is a pretty long section. This is going from 80, 84 seconds at the top left to 154 seconds, which is which is over a minute, whatever 84 from 15 is, 70. So we put a little pause in there. So 80 to 130 gives us like a 50 second, <laughs> take a breath and then go back into the ending. And it also turned out to be a nice place to make the break because there's a shift in uh, modality between this and this. Um, we also tweak the ending a little bit to make it close in better. And of course, when we update the score, which is this thing here, then we also make a point of updating our, our energy, our line diagram here, which tells us how many bars there are for each part, 3A, 3B, 3C, which lets us update the timestamp for when each chapter of our four chapter story starts, which then lets us uh, update our um, all important uh, playlist that tells us at how many seconds to begin the next chapter. For example, this tells us that uh, 45.64, which corresponds to this 45.64, this 72.92 corresponds to this 72.92. It's ridiculously precise, and the reason we can do that is because we actually have a line diagram where we, we know what the tempo is and how many bars there are, and <clears throat> that's just what it is. So we did all that, we did all that. So what we're going to do for you is play, we're going to play, we think the MIDI animation is kind of fun to look at. Um, so here we go. It's just using regular old MIDI sound patches. Here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. One thing we really like about the MIDI is you can really see the structure that's going on. Um, for example, here it's one note followed by what we call the passing notes. Uh, and then each color is a different note of the scale. And you can see how uh, the passing notes here, which go purple to red with the blue in the middle, they're different. They're different. And, and you hear that there's a different scale, but this really visualizes it for you. It also shows you that we're playing three chord, three, three note chords, like pink, yellow, orange, but none of these notes are the same pink, yellow, orange, which is true because we pick these passing notes. Passing notes means it's not in the chord. So visually it's showing uh, the same thing that we know when we composed it based on our theory. Another thing that pops out is uh, the, the little drum part here is shown as the, because reasons drum parts show as a pitch note, even though they're, they're not pitched. But you can see the rise fall nature of our figures, which we knew because we wrote it that way. But later on, down in the fourth chapter, where we right there, it is so evident. This is one of the simplest rising figure changes that we used. But then when we moved and then we upped it, we just moved it up three half tones. So it's the same figure just moved up a little and the notes colors show that. But then now instead of using uh, simple one, two, two, one figures, we're using one, three, three, one. So all of a sudden the little, uh, the violence of the up down is getting bigger. And then we jump into the one, five, five, one, and then it's just all over the map. It's, it's, it's filling in the, the, the sections there. And then here, the dramatic ending, da, 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 da. And all along down here at the bottom, these notes here are, are um, what we call a shimmer or, or bass tone. So the MIDI uh, does a lot for us. And I guess that's another key theme. The energy chart does a lot for us because when we looked at this chart from the last stream, that's when we realized we really needed a pause, uh, a buffer bar in there so that orally it stood apart because it was quite evident visually that this was a long run on sentence and 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 we we were hearing that orally but it was hard to it was hard to just you know narrow in on where does it need a and and between the two points of view uh, that worked and then here we did quite a lot with uh, quite a lot with this we're kind of pleased with the um Let's jump ahead to one of the chapters that we like. We had to update our figures in here so they rendered correctly. Um, and then we also did some tweaking of how this looks. We added transparency to the jumping drumsticks, uh, which made them more a more nuanced effect, which after all is the theme of this stream. And then uh, in the in the energy section, we basically kept these disturbing looking figures, but we made the colors very consistent with the extend chapter, and we also made the star field, um, the star field had more color. So, a lot of neat adjusting and tweaking. Uh, feeling good about it. Our ideas for next time, we want to share this work at open mic. Still have the idea to try some timbre changes. And also that MIDI recording, we made a MIDI recording here, but it still comes across soft. So we haven't figured out where in our technical stream of, of audio stuff, where we can make that this player uh, come across louder. So Thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.